Oh boy. I didn't want to ditch open Susa Tumbleweed. I'm telling you guys, I really love this distribution. But it's part of the challenge. Now we have to move on. And guess which one is the next one? Ubuntu. I'm in pain and I'm gonna have to install it right now. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. Today is a day where I switch to a new distribution. And I do that because I'm participating in a Linux distro challenge. The idea behind this challenge is super simple. Instead of trying the distribution in a virtual machine and be like, oh yeah, they change those icons and blah, blah, blah. I'm testing the distro as a daily driver for one month. Not one week, not one hour, not one day, one month. Obviously, I'm going to be able to reach the limit of the distro for my usage, or I'm going to be super happy about it. So as a recap, two months ago, I did it with uh, Linux Mint, which was a pretty, I would say, like pretty good challenge at the end. I used it and I went through like um, some little issue, but it was it was pretty nice. So if you want to watch the video, I really invite you to, to look at them on my channel. Last month, I did the challenge on OpenSUSE Tubbleweed. And this one was just wonderful. I, I really love this distro. And again, like if you want to see the video about it, I really invite you to, to watch them. My feedback was super positive. I, I really love this distro. And I kind of felt bad when I had to delete it to move to this one, Ubuntu. Not any Ubuntu, because there is a lot of different Ubuntu uh, distro like flavor. I went with the Ubuntu current or current, I guess current, not current, current. But you got the idea. We choose Ubuntu because this month we're going to be moving from 23.04 to 23.10. And what I wanted to see is like first, if I can handle Ubuntu, I'm going to talk about it after. And second, if I'm able to use it until the upgrade day to see how the migration is going to go through. So that's, that's the main idea. So right now, like the big update toward like uh, Mantic Minotaur, like the version, the new version of Ubuntu is going to be, in my opinion, uh, the major PPA changes. The, the fact that they are moving from the Linux kernel 6.2 to the 6.5 and then GNOME 45. Okay, that's for me the, the four or three, I don't know, I don't remember how much I'm, I mentioned there, but like those are the big, big one. Right now we are on GNOME 44.3 and we will see like what the GNOME 45 bring to us. Also what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be comparing like the performance of Ubuntu and especially like the desktop environment versus what I already tested before, which is like uh, Arch, Linux Mint, and um, open source tumbleweed like that we're going to have an idea of where this one stands in terms of gaming and the next phase will be to try it in my you know daily job which is like creating content here for youtube so see if this distribution is able to handle it so now we cover that let's talk about the install and you see like i'm gonna have this little smirk on my face until the end of the video because Ubuntu, I don't have it in my heart. Okay, like it's, I'm, I'm, I understand why a lot of people like Ubuntu. I just don't like it. I'm not fan of their vision. I would rather go with the mother distribution, Debian, rather than Ubuntu. I have, I have a problem with what they try to bring on the table. However, this is a challenge and I'm going to try to be objective as much as I can, but I, I can't remove this mark. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but like this distro, you will understand right away the type of issue I went through. It's just, it's just crazy to me. Like, it's just insane. The image you are watching right now is a B-roll of me installing the distribution. What I've done, like I've, I've created a pass-through through my streaming PC like that. I can record exactly what I went through during the installation on hard here. Everything went smooth. The installation was super clean. I noticed that the whole like desktop environment was on nouveau and not using the NVIDIA driver, but I'm okay with it. I did activate the proprietary driver during the install and the specific codec. So I activated everything and I choose the NVMe SSD 
I was willing to install on. For you to understand my hardware situation here, I have three SSD in this machine. On one, I have my Arch install. I keep it there because I, I love uh, this distro. When I do a challenge, I don't use it, but I still keep it there because we never know if I have a problem or anything. I want to have a Linux distro available there. On the second SSD, I have the distro I'm going to be using for the challenge. So the last one was OpenSUSE Doubleweed. Now I'm going to put Ubuntu on it. And on the third one, I have Windows to make some tests, to make some benchmark, etc., etc. It's a fresh install of Windows. Like there is nothing on it except the driver and, and Steam. So during the install, I choose my second SSD. It's an NVMe drive. I went through it. Everything went smooth. I boot it up and I arrive on my main screen and everything looks fine. Everything looks fine. To give you an idea, I was pretty surprised by the fact that the NVIDIA drivers were already installed, which is good. I was also surprised by the fact that Pipewire and Wire Plumber were already installed in the Servins launch, like everything was set up correctly. Because I remember on Mint, which is based on Ubuntu, they didn't have Pipewire installed at all. So just to show you, this is the latest version of the NVIDIA driver. It's not the latest like beta Vulkan version, but at the most up to date. So I have to say like, this is a pretty good experience. Everything was recognized right off the bat. And uh, yeah, like I'm, I have to say this part of the install was, was pretty dope. Now let's talk about the problem. <laughs> okay, so as I told you, I have over operating system on my over SSD. And I always advise to any new user of Linux to remove the hard drive when they are installing. And you're going to ask me like, why? Why would you do that? Because you already choose the right hard drive. Well, Ubuntu decided to wipe out the EFI partition of my Arch install. Yes, the, the NVMe, which had nothing to do with this distribution, like with this installation, got the EFI partition wiped. So what does it mean in, in like English? Because if you are a beginner, maybe you don't understand and it's okay. What it means, it means that during the install, the installer of Ubuntu went there and wiped the boot partition on my over SSD, which means like right now, if I want to boot on Arch, I just can't boot. You get it? Like it, it, I can boot. So it didn't wipe the data because it's different partition, but it wiped the, the bootable partition. So obviously I fixed it because I know how to do that. But let's say you're a beginner and you, and you have to deal with that. Like, come on, like, what is this? It just, to me, it just blew my mind. So that's, that's, that's definitely a no-go because I can't right now tell you and look you in the eyes and say, yes, you can install Ubuntu in safe. It's not safe. So please, if you want to try this distribution, remove all the other hard drive you have because it happens to my Arch install and I, can, I could solve it in like 20 minutes. But if you happen on Windows, well, good luck, dude. It means you're going to have to reinstall Windows on top of your existing Windows. And this is not fun at all. So something to take in consideration. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I want to tell it to you straight. I'm just broken inside right now. I, I don't know how to explain. This distribution is supposed to be the most popular distribution. Like when you think about Linux, you think about Ubuntu. And look at the mistake like basic mistake they make during the installation. So that's, that's the first negative. The second one is, is a desktop environment as a serious issue, like GNOME. I know a lot of guys love GNOME and think like GNOME is the best, but I'm going to share my experience here. I have like multiple displays. I have three displays. You can see them here. And what I do to capture this video, I use a capture card on my streaming PC, this one here. And what I have to do, I have to duplicate my main display with this capture card. Like that, when I move here, you can see it on the capture card and it makes the whole magic happening. I can record my main screen. 
But if I go in display settings there, and I'm trying to duplicate, for example, like this screen, th there is no option. You can't, you can't duplicate using the GUI. So your only way out is to figure it out a command line and execute it to make it work. And when you do it, you're going to have everything upside down. Like you can't even move between windows. It's going to work, but somehow it changes scaling of the full like screen there and you make everything unreadable. It was a major pain for me. If you have multiple screen and you are using Nvidia, I don't know how it is on AMG, but I'm telling you on Nvidia, it's just disgusting. So obviously like, I know how to deal with that because it happens to me before and I was able to solve it. But if you are a newcomer, boo! So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the command line in the description below just for you to, you know, solve it if you get there. It's, it's just a pain. I, I could make a full tutorial of like 10 minutes to explain you how to do it, just to give you an idea. Like this is not an easy fix. And now the last one, because there is a last one, unfortunately, Ubuntu Current use um display manager called ggm3 and what happened with this display manager if you have multiple screen like that and you have a duplicate and you are you know tinkering a little bit like i do but when you think about tinkering like it's not something crazy we are in 2023 you expect to be able to duplicate whatever screen to something else like it shouldn't be hard but when you do that well when you log in the display manager is what kind of like open the X11 session, your graphical session there, well, you won't see anything. It's going to be a gray screen. You will have access to nothing. So let me show you. So normally, this is what I should see. And here I type my password. Well, guess what? When you log in, it's just a gray screen. There is nothing. So you are totally lost. You have to type, enter, and like play, type your password, try to, to enter. Like, like, what is this? Like, what is this? I'm just like baffled by how they set this up. And uh, it, 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 this is just astonishing. So guys, you, you understand my point here. I'm, I'm, I'm just a little bit shocked by the overall like experience right now compared to Linux Mint or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. If you are a newcomer and you jump on Ubuntu because Ubuntu is the most popular distro right now, I understand why some users are totally disappointed. Like, like, what is this? So you got my feedback. We will see how we go through during the overall experience. But I have to say, like, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. And I wanted to share that with you. So guys, like, if you, if you know maybe how to solve that, like, please, like, let me know in the comments. But this challenge is not starting well. I was able to make it work. But from a, a user standpoint, like new user standpoint, I can't tell right now, I want to recommend Ubuntu for a newcomer. Like maybe I'm, I'm making this video a little bit because I'm warm and I spend like, like three hours setting everything up where the install itself was like 10 minutes and everything was broken behind. It, it just to me, just it's just crazy. So you got the ID. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna install all the application I need. I'm gonna customize it. I'm gonna spend some time on it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Like, wish me luck for Friday stream, because <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream from this beast. Like, I have no idea. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, obviously, and if you want to support the the channel, uh, please uh, give a thumb up. Uh, become a member here or on Patreon. And yeah, that's it. That's all. It's going to be a hell of an adventure, boys. Have a great one. And uh, bisous, bisous.